I showed you Google Sheets, but here's the Excel full version of how to do this dashboard and it's quite different. I'm gonna copy and paste just like the other one from another sheet just to save time of the headings. But you can type in whatever you want, format however you want. Let's merge and center these. We don't need to filter on our dashboard, so that's okay. We just want it to look nice and be centered. So I'm gonna do the same thing on Project Progress. Next, let's get our headings in here. Type in whatever makes sense for you, but I'm doing this by project. So I'm going to put project one and then in the other areas, two, three, four, and so on, and then name a spot for the date and whether it's done. Overall progress for project one needs to be at the bottom. This is where we're gonna total our checkboxes. So let's merge and center that again. We don't have to filter, so it's okay. Next, we're going to do again, a merge and center just to get this looking nice. And then we can change the colors of these. I like to do um, a gray or something like that so that it really makes the progress bar stand out because those will be a yellow, red, and green. So same thing, we're gonna merge and center and let's bold this. This is where you would put the name of the project in. And then one more time, we're going to change these headings to a light gray just to make them stand out a little bit better. Let's add bold to these, make them look nicer. Same thing, we'll bold where our total is going to go, and then expand column A a little bit so that you have room to type in the rows. Let's center this, and then let's go to developer and insert checkbox. So draw that in, and you need to delete the text in there. So you can click in there, or you can just expand it to make it a little bit easier to do that. So then once you click in, you can just hit delete, and you're all set. Now I right click on this because that makes it easier to copy paste. And these aren't the easiest thing to get in a, a nice row or column, I should say, but just try the best you can to move these around to line them up. Okay, so now we have our four check boxes. Then we need to expand row 15 a little bit because this is where our progress bar and our percentage is gonna go. So our formula is going to count the number of boxes that are true or checked within our range there listed divided by our total count of possible check boxes. So that's how we get our percentage that are actually checked off. Let's test it, looks good. Now, if you notice this checkbox didn't do anything because we didn't link it, every single checkbox has to be linked. You can right click and follow exactly as I did in format control, cell link, click the cell that the box is in. Then you need to change this all to white text because if you notice on yours, it might show a true or false and you don't wanna see that text. So make sure you repeat this action for every checkbox. I'm not doing it for time's sake. I'm going to cut that out of the video. Now we enlarged our percentage, so it's really nice to see. And then this is where our progress bar goes. And this formula is very different from sheets. So we're gonna use the RAPT function and the slash key is where you get that line that's in double quotes and then comma 70 times our percentage. You can adjust that to make the sizing different, adjust the 70 I should say, um, but we're just gonna go with that for right now. This needs to be playbill font. And now let's see, looking good, we've got a progress bar. You can change this font. Let's make it a lot bigger, even better. Now to change the colors, we're gonna use conditional formatting and use a formula. You're gonna enter three separate formulas in for each of the colors. So follow it exactly as shown. You can adjust the 0.3 um, for however you want. I am okay with saying roughly a third is red, the middle between one third and two thirds is yellow, and then green is anything above two thirds, but you can adjust that. So make sure you're following these formulas. And when you hit format, we're changing the font color because this bar is actually a font. It is not uh, an actual bar object to fill. So after we type in this formula, this is gonna be yellow. So we click format and then on, under font color, yellow. Hit okay and okay. Now we need to do this one more time looking good so far because we still have a black bar for anything that's above the two thirds. So one more time, this is going to be the green bar. So we wanna make sure that C15 or our percentage is greater than that 0.67. So let's change this font again to green. Hit okay and okay. And now test it out. Everything looks good. We're gonna expand that so our 100% fits. Now I paused the video to copy and paste each section. You need to repeat exactly what you did and you are going to have to adjust the conditional formatting as I'm doing here. I'm just making sure that the appropriate cell, the appropriate percentage box is 
typed in to each of these formulas. So make sure everything looks good on your end. Make sure all the checkboxes are linked. So far, so good. Next, we need our completed and incompleted. So in order to get our completed checkbox, we need to add up the totals in row 23 and 33. So we're gonna click each of those boxes. And then we need to divide that by the total count of checkboxes. So we have total 16 checkboxes. So we need to select every one of them. So make sure you're typing this in exactly as it's shown. And so now that's going to divide by our total possible checkboxes, which is going to give us our percentage. And then incomplete is just going to be completed, or I should say one minus completed. So we change that percentage and then incomplete is the equals one minus the percent. Now we're missing a formula and that's why the completed hasn't changed yet. So let's type in equals count if anything that's true or checked. So that needs to be in the double quotes and you can see we've got four and let's just paste this all the way around and make sure that it's accurate, looks good. Now you can see our completed is accurate and I like to do a spot check. Let's make sure we've got eight boxes checked compared to the 16 total and looks good. We've got a 50-50 split, all the math works out. Now let's change this to a nice blue and a gray and we'll change the font color so it's really easy to read. And let's make that bold and let's make that bold. And we can center this, just makes it easier to look at. Now what we need to do is insert the pie chart. So let's select these boxes and insert, let's do a 3D pie. Let's resize this and move it into place and we don't really need a chart title because we have a main heading here. So I'm just going to click on that and remove it. And now you can click on either side of this and change the fill color. Let's do like a blue and a gray. So it changed to all gray, so we need to fix that. So let's click actually on completed and let's turn that blue. So we'll pick that fill color. And then let's do the background. You could right click on this if you want and go to format chart area. And then again, you'll see the fill option and we'll change that to a dark gray. Let's go even darker. And then we need to change our text. So if you click on that and then go to text options, you can choose that to be white or whatever color makes sense. It's looking really good. Let's test it out. Everything's good. So now what we need to do is put borders around our main sections here just to make it stand out. And we're also going to remove grid lines from the entire sheet. So we wanna make sure there's a border here so that we don't completely lose them. We just wanna lose them in the background. Then I'm gonna select all of these background cells and we're gonna change that to like a light gray. And then we need to do that for the whole thing. But if you go to view and show and then remove grid lines, you'll see it looks much nicer to have that smooth background. So same thing, I'm just going through and highlighting all of the background. Highlight as much as you want. Let's change that to that same light gray. And there is your dashboard and it looks great.